perfect vein that he has shown this weekend, but he may also have to step things up a little bit. Dragutin Horvat, the host nation qualifier, beaten the first round with a 92 average. Terry Jenkins, beaten in the second round with a 93 average in a deciding leg. Is that going to be enough against Benito? Second leg, gentlemen. First leg, Benito to throw first. Game on! Rob Malarkey joins me, Dan Dawson, in the commentary box for this one. Benito is the favourite here and a potential winner of this title. 174. And he was fifth favourite in the betting at the start of play today. 20 to 1 on Benito van der Pass winning a European Tour title here one this weekend. Joe 14. Mernon, the outsider at 125 to 1. But, as you say, this is the intriguing section of the draw. And van der Pass will be looking to make the most of it. No such thing as a free ride or an easy passage. But it is all taking shape very nicely indeed. As he mentioned, Mernon has worked hard already this weekend. And he's in good shape in this first leg as well. A 180 on the board, on the van der Pass throw as well. well good sign for Joe Mernon, because in two previous games this weekend, which had lasted, what, 18 legs, he'd only hit one 180. But he's doubled his tally. I don't think he'll go for one here. 85. As hilarious as it would Benito, be. Benito, you require 105. 105 for Benito. Probably look at the bullseye to start with, I would think. Or maybe straight at the treble 20. Oh, wonderful. Double 16 for 1 0. 12 shots of Benito van der Pass. Ton plus Benito check out. Van der Pass. Second leg, Joe, to throw first. Game on. Yep. Signal of intent there from Van der Pass. 99. On his throat. Mernon playing in his fourth European Tour event of this year. His best performance so far coming in Gibraltar, where he made the third round. So he's emulated that. Can he go one stage further? 60. That is the question. Beat Terry Jenkins yesterday, so he's already accounted for one seeded player. Went to an 11th leg like that one. Averaged 93.29, but as you say, no 180s for him in that one. Had to overcome the German crowd as well as Dragutin Horvat in the first round on Friday. 80. Yeah, I think realistically, if Joe Mernon is going to make it to the European Championships in Hasselt, he's probably going to have to make the semi-finals this weekend. He's not qualified for the 100. last Euro Tour event of the year, so this is his last chance to pick up some money on the Euro Tour. Five grand for making a semi-final and taking to that nine grand mark, and that may well be enough. There is an outside chance it could be higher than 59. that. 59! But it looks like that's going to be enough. Yeah, 4,000 at the moment he's on. Just this one event to play and uh, guaranteed at least 2,000, so he needs more. He needs a lot more. 58! 5,000 for the semi-final, like you say, would take him to nine. I think that would be just about enough. We think so. There are strange things that could happen, but we're talking sort of unprecedented <laughs> levels of strength. 54. Even for these Sorry, guys. 56. But he is looking good to get his first leg on the 83. board here. 83 leaves 103. He's just seen Benito take out the 105. Oh, this could apply some pressure, though, couldn't it? Couldn't it? One hundred and yes, it could. So he's left the 107, having already taken out the 105. Well, it's okay, that. That's not. Well, it would have been if he did the treble 20. <laughs> 11 scores. Oh, dear. Benito, you require 107. Well, Benito van der Pass then, for a break of throw. Looking at the uh, 17s, but that. Nine. And the treble. Well, 11 Joe scored means that Mernon may start on the bullseye here. Oh, well, five, so 87 left. Needed the treble 17, doesn't get it. and 52. Well, he tidies it Benito up with that last dart, but 16. it may be in vain because Benito van der Pass looks at double eight for a 2-0 lead. Game show oh, it is in, it is in. Benito Couldn't quite tell from the Pass. camera angle there, but Benito, Benito that will Benito do. Throw Break a throw, 2-0 lead. On. Joe Mernon, you know, and that check out just over 100, did not even set it up particularly well, and Benito kicks off 139, kicked off 174 in the first leg on his own throat.
Saw that off in 12 darts. Van der Pass fans and Van der Pass backers would like a, a, for a change, a fairly comfortable ride this afternoon. He uh, again went to an 11th leg yesterday against Christo Reyes, as Joe Mernon did. He went to 11 legs against Jenkins as well. Had a very, wow. very tough ordeal against Simon Whitlock in Risa as well. well Christo missed ago. a match dart against him, didn't he? Yeah, so, I mean, Whit he's Whitlock a bit lucky to be here. Whitlock likewise in Risa. And he has dodged a couple of bullets already this month. Well, they do say you make your own luck, but... He seems to be getting more than his fair share. But then, you know, if somebody misses a dart... You've still got to... You've got to make sure they don't get any more, and Benito has been quite good at doing that. If you keep giving people more and more chances, then eventually there will be. You and nobody talks about how many match darts they miss. They talk about how you lost the game. And let's not, you know, take anything away from Benito. He's had a terrific year. His best season on the PDC circuit. Two titles in 2016 on the Players' Championship Series. Two final appearances as well. 56. Maiden uh, PDC title in Barnsley when he beat Michael Van Gogh in two. So you don't meet Michael Van Gogh in look alone. Mm. Yeah, he's had a, a few wins over Michael Van Gogh. And he, you know, his head-to-head -head record is not good against him. Nobody is. Right, he'll look to just set this 64. up. 64 leaves him the two data for the 100. Joe Mernon, ton 40, would at least make Benito think. 96, Benito, you well, require 100. He's left the 92 again. Will he get a go at it? Steely focus in the eye of Van der Pass. Look at this. Tops for a 3 0 lead. Game show the third leg. Benito, Van der Pass. And Van der Pass is halfway there. Joe to throw first. Game on. Just the one break of throw, but 3 0 does look a significant lead. 100. They have met a couple of times before these guys, but it was way back in the dim and distant. Did we get any answers, by the way? No, we did. Well, first of all, the question is what yeah. is the. England classic early bird. Early bird. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll be honest. It sounds like a, some sort of 2 wow. 1 offer on Fulton. Food at the Pub. Turn up at five o'clock, we'll give you one meal free. Well, it was... And a game of darts with Benito van der Pass. Well, it, it was an, an offer that Joe and jumped at the chance because he beat him 4-3. <laughs> but, I mean, it was in 2011. That was also when they met in the Dutch Master, uh, Dutch Open, sorry. Um, so, you know, both when they were playing BDO darts. And it's fair to say wow. that Joe Mernon has come on as a darter since then. Obviously won PDC title last year. A couple of Challenge Tour events as well, made his... Debut of the match play. Benito van der Pass is obviously a different player nowadays from back then. So that 1-1 one, one in the head-to-head -head records, I mean, it's may as well been two different players. The England classic early bird. One man up, 40. Many darts have been thrown since then. And Mernon will have to throw a few more here if he's to get into contention in his fourth leg. Van der Pass with the chance here for another break and a 4-0 lead. That was the trouble, was it? Yes, it is. And he's just had a look at Joe Mernon's score. one three nine. so I think he has to go 11 bullseye here. Yep, bullseye. Okay. 87. Right. Left a double. Not a double of choice, but it is a double. And he is going to have a think. Now, some players will go straight at this. Some players will go two double 16. Then Benito goes at the double 17, but just hopes it sneaks into the single two. Oh, no, just go straight at the two. Double 16. Was it the wise choice? Two score. Maybe not. Maybe not. Joe indeed, yeah. Two misses outside. If it had been two misses outside in the 17s, he would have had another dart at it. But Joe Mernon to get his first leg on the board, down for double 10. And it's there it is, it's 3-1, and Joe Mernon has just given himself Benito, a, a foothold in this game. Yeah, two missed darts at double 16 for Benito. May well prove a turning point, who knows, we'll find out in due course. But Benito van der Pass rattles in 1-2-3 to kick-start the fifth leg of this one. A reminder, the winner to face either James Wilson, what a weekend he's having again, 45. against uh, Raymond van Barneveld later. The final match of the afternoon session. So one qualifier guaranteed to get through to the last eight. 60. And you see there's a 10-point gap in the first nine averages. 
seven point gap in the overall averages but had <laughs> Benito hit one of those two darts at double 16 in the previous leg he would be 4-0 up and in complete charge of this game as it is he still the boss man in this one right now. Yeah, certainly is. There's a sizable gap, and Murden isn't ball. making any inroads at all. So 131 the gap, and Van der Pasken embellished that here in style. One round right five. So three darts away. From a 4-1 lead. 54. And once again, Murdo just can't register anything significant at all here. 96 remaining. Well, he won't be finishing this time. 42. We've seen some impressive performances today already. Gerwin Price was excellent in seeing off Mensor Sullivan. 16. Kim Hybrex was pretty solid. Peter Wright exactly was very required. good. And James Wade has just shown us that he's here to play some proper darts today. Michael Van Gerwen, of course, and Stephen Bunting both booking their places in tonight's action as well without really sparkling. But Benito Game Van der Pass, you would have play. to say, is in Benito that latter category. He's 4 1 up and looking first. good for a place in the quarterfinals. But it has not been Big Ben's best. Certainly hasn't been Mernon's best day at the office either. Yeah, you get the feeling if Mernon had played as he had done in the last couple of games, where he was averaging 92, 93, he would be there or thereabouts with Benito. Wow. You're never quite sure, you know, a lot of players, if their opponent starts coming back at them, they raise their game themselves. And we've seen Benito do that. Wow. You know, the, the best players do that. They do enough to get the job done. When they need to find the best stuff, they will. And Benito's not being asked to find his best stuff at the minute. He's just sort of plodding along Nine. on his B game or maybe even C game. And it's, it's enough right now. And I'm really struggling to find Nine. that treble 20. It's a good shot on the 57. Oh, no. Oh. 77. More difficult to find his way through to the treble one than to hit the treble 18. Benito 96. somehow managing to do it. Mernon down to a finish, but a ton 40 from Benito would hurt. Now then. Now then, Benito. Wow! Oh, that is superb. Oh, what a setup shot that is. Well, I was just going to say, Benito had been plodding his way through this particular leg although Mernon might just One pull off something spectacular 20. and he almost did and he tell you require 32 but suddenly van der Pass turned the screw and double 16 he's not had immense joy on double 16 so far today missed it a couple of times Game in the fourth leg but and he told van der Pass seven leg in the sixth front first. and leads five Game on. Yeah, both players plodding through that particular leg. There was a real hush around the arena here as well in the Glass Palace. It's been that sort of game, but Van der Pass has been just about too good. Yeah, you saw Scott Taylor in the crowd there. We saw him make his Euro Tour debut here this weekend. Another lad from Bolton. Evidently supporting Joe in this one, but he's not had a great deal to shout about. That 1-4-8 would have given him something. Unable to find the double 14 and Benito van der Pass making Joe Mernon pay. And it looks very much like Joe Mernon will be going no further in the European Darts Grand Prix and will not be competing in Belgium at the European Championship either. We know Big Ben's going to be there. It's just a case of where he's going to be in the seedings. In yeah. fact, it was his movement into Yesterday. the top eight. Mm that meant that Phil Taylor 45. is no longer in the top eight, so he'll be a, a dangerous floater, as yeah. they say. So uh, a good run here from Van der Pass this weekend. A similar wow. run in Hildesheim in October. And you would fancy his chances. Really was given a massive helping hand by that semi-final appearance in Risa a couple of weeks ago. That did his 
prospects of being amongst the top eight seeds the world of good but he's backed it up well here 99. or is backing it up well here at the moment assuming he does get through and it looks as though he will might have to go to another leg here though with Mernon sitting on a sun but this will apply something oh. two goes at tops though for Mernon here double ten uh, good stuff from Joe Mernon digging deep and breaking the van der Pass throw for the first time in this match and you never know look Joe Mernon holds here it's 5-3 Maybe, maybe there's a way back into this one. 85. Van der Pass hit that 180, first one of the match for him. But that's very closely followed by a second. In fact, that's back-to-back -back visits of 180 for Benito van der Pass. Did it to leave 63 for the match in the last leg and didn't get a shot at it because Mernon took out the 100. We never really thought it was going to happen, did we? We didn't think it was going to happen. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen on the European Tour. It hasn't happened since 2013. One but it has put Benito in a strong position here, effectively stolen the darts, looking to leave himself a good finish. Ton 40 would do that. Ton 80 would leave him in a better one. Oh, why not? Why not indeed? Well, that's three 180s in four visits for Benito van der Pass, having not hit one all the way through this match. And he has left himself 56 for a potential 11 data, a break of throw and a 6-2 win. And a place in the quarterfinals to face either James Wilson or Raymond van Barneveld. Double top for Benito van der Pass. Closes it out in style and Benito van der Pass will look. An 11 data at the end has dragged that average up to around the 96 mark. It was decent without being spectacular from van der Pass. But we know he is capable of the spectacular and he may have to produce it this evening if he is going to claim a first European Tour title. We will find out who he faces in the quarterfinals this evening in just a few moments time as the jammy dodger James Wilson takes on the five-time world champion Barney Raymond van Barneveld. Wenn Raymond van Barneveld hier gleich herausgefordert wird von James Wilson. Benito, congratulations. Yesterday you weren't really happy about the way you played. What's after that match? <laughs> oh, come on. As long as you win, <laughs> there should be a smile in your face. Of course, I, I'm 22 years old and I'm uh, again in the quarterfinal. So for me, everything is a uh, learning. Everything is a learning, yeah. Another quarter-final for me. That's good. Could be that you play uh, Raymond von Barnefeld. Was he actually the reason why you started playing darts? Yeah, I think so, yeah. When he won in 2002 or... Three, I think. This is the third title, yeah. When I started with darts, so... Kind of an idol for you? No, no, not an idol. Uh, I don't have idols. Uh, I want to be the best and uh, I'm practicing a lot and... Uh, what I say, I'm 23 years old, I'm in another quarter-final and uh, hopefully uh, in two or three years okay. I'm uh, at top ten or maybe. Okay. See what's happened later. See you in the evening. Thank you very much. Benito van der Paz.